Okay guys, I did it. I finally have these nursery DIYs ready for you. I know I've been talking about them for, <laughs> um, I don't know, since I announced I was having a baby. So Daylin was actually born back in April, but she did come a month early, so her nursery was not done. But the good thing is, is something you kind of realize on your second time around having a kid is that the nursery doesn't really need to be done the second that they arrive because, like for us, we're having Daylin sleep in our room right now. So her room's not, it doesn't need to be done. Daylin's room is Rapunzel themed and I got my, all my inspiration kind of from that movie. Uh, this first tutorial is going to be showing you how I made the little name decoration that is above her crib. I hope you guys like this tutorial and will subscribe so that you don't miss out on all of the future Disney DIYs that I have coming out, including more DIYs that um, are like the decorations inside her nursery. I also am planning on doing a total room tour so that you can see how all of these pieces fit together. And without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. Okay guys, so first off, I got Daylin's name um, from a shop on Etsy. I will have their shop linked in the description box below. They do beautiful work. Um, and then I also found this large oval embroidery hoop from Hobby Lobby and these fake flowers from the Dollar Tree. So start out with the large oval embroidery hoop. I am only using that um, internal piece. So there's another piece that has like a tightening screw. I'm not using that part. And then I decided to paint mine a golden yellow, kind of reminiscent of Rapunzel's hair. Just go ahead and paint the entire thing. This can get a little messy, so I would lay down a towel. And I'm just using a Dollar Tree sponge brush to um, paint this on. Sometimes you do need to sand these hoops down, but um, just a once over with like a Dollar Tree sanding block will work. Then I chose this metallic gold paint from Walmart and again, my Dollar Tree sponge brush. And I'm going over Daylin's name with this golden paint. So it's a little bit hard to tell um, in the screen, but the name, you can actually pay for it to come painted, but I think it was like an extra $10 and I was like, um, I'll just paint it myself. <laughs> Um, but it does come kind of like just a brown color. Um, the good news is you can paint it any color you want and you can spray paint it if you prefer. I just wanted to do um, this acrylic paint that I already had. Just be careful not to use too much because you don't want it to be like globbing out the back or um, have like bubbles on the insides of the letters or anything like that. Okay, so next is flowers. So I started with a large like centerpiece flower and just glued that on. Um, I will tell you guys, if you have a hot glue gun with temperature settings, I would set it to low heat because uh, it does take a while for the glue to set from like the wood to the flower. Um, I did burn myself a couple of times, so I'm warning you, be very, very careful. I did end up using like this little poking tool that I have to hold down the flowers while the glue set. So I started out um, on the top corner, but I do end up kind of repositioning the way that the hoop goes with the name. You'll see what I mean later. But I basically just kind of worked as I went. I didn't pre-lay out the flowers or anything, and I just did a combination of pink and purple flowers. And I did look for flowers that had like other colors in them, so like little bits of yellow or white, just to give some variation in what um, colors you're seeing. And then I just continued around the hoop. I did try to use stems that like uh, were elongated, if that makes sense, to stick off of the frame a little bit. That way it wasn't just like a bunch of flowers in a pile. It kind of looked like they were growing off of the frame. As you can see, I've got some that are going up, some that are going out, and some that are just flat out glued directly onto the hoop to provide some variety. But depending on what you want this to look like, there's, I mean, it just, it really just is personal preference. How far do you want it to go along the frame, and do you want it to be, um, you could even do this all around the frame, but I only did like a bottom corner, if that makes sense. You guys will see it in a second. <laughs> so this is how I ended up positioning it for Daylin's room. 
Originally, I thought that I was gonna put it like this, which I do also like. I just, for some reason, preferred the flowers down at the bottom. Now for the last step, I just picked up some gold rope trim from Walmart and that is how I hung it. I just wrapped it around twice and hot glued it in place on each side. And that's it guys. Um, for the name plaque, I put two small nails into the wall and just hung it on that. And then the actual wreath I hung from the rope at the top using a screw. I did decide to add the rope to give it some height. That's totally optional. As always, if you guys have any questions, just leave it for me in the comments below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!